Well, what's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? I'm gonna to try to make this video short and sweet. This is a product from Zero Lemon for the iPhone 12. This specific one is for the Pro Max, but they've got several different versions. And this is actually one of the two that they are sending. So there's gonna be an even bigger one. And I might just do an unboxing of this one and a review of the other one, or an unboxing of both, I don't know. If you're unable to comment, it's because YouTube disabled my comments like quite a long time ago. So I literally cannot receive comments on any videos. So in the description, there'll be links to my Twitter and Instagram that I am the most active on. It's at what would Josh do, just like my YouTube, just like my Twitch, just like everything everywhere. So here we go. This is Zero Lemon, and this is the 12 Pro Max 2020 Black. Anyways. Let's open this up. It's been actually a while since we've done Zero Lemon. Like, a while. Just, they release products and I haven't had the newest devices that they support. And I'm not someone that typically gets iPhones. Uh, I got one because of work and they gave me a free phone and then the battery on it uh, was needed to replace. And the deal I got was way too good to pass up. So, here we are. Let's check this out. This is the small, I think this is the smaller one versus the other one. And this is gonna be huge if you're someone that like goes on a hike or, you know, is in the military or does anything where you're away from an outlet for a while and you want the most charge possible. So just some books and stuff instructions on how to put the phone in there and then the charge port appears to be lightning we'll figure all that out here in a second so this is the 5000 they are making a 10000 so the input is 5 volts at 1.5 amps and the output is 5 volts at 1.5 amps wireless charging is supported that's awesome okay so this is a UAG case that I got from Verizon I needed a case uh, I've got screen protectors coming cuz Lord knows I don't want to break or scratch or something this phone. And UAG has been amazing. That's what it is about Zero Lemon. But UAG has my iPhone 10 that is currently in possession of Verizon because I, I gave it up for this phone uh, was perfect. Not a single thing about it was bad. It was perfect. So here we go. This is the case. We're going to hold down for three seconds to turn it on. Oh, to turn it off. Okay, press button to turn on. All right, so it's full. Cool. Now we're going to plug our phone in. And our phones actually kind of need to charge too, so that's awesome. We're just going to figure this out. I think you just... Oh, there's literally a picture. So just kind of be a little bit aggressive here, I guess. Just There we go. All right. That is... Lots of tight little fit there. Okay. And oh, yeah, we started charging because we pressed that button a second ago. And well, would you look at that? We've got a nice big old case on our phone that uh, it's going to protect it and give it a lot more battery life. A lot more. <laughs> That's a phone. <laughs> you don't need to carry around a weapon. You've got a phone and zero lemon. <laughs> Who needs a knife? Just... Just chuck your phone at him. It'll it'll de. It'll <laughs> put him out of the fight for a moment. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that about wraps it up today. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, so there we go. Our phone is charging. We'll also pull that down, and you can see right there that it is charging. It is charging at 5 volts, 1.5 amps. So if it was 5 volts, 2 amps, it would be 10 watts. But 5 volts, 1.5 amps is more than 5. It's like 7.5. Oh, wireless charging. Let's test that out real quick. Oh, yeah, so before I test wireless charging, I've got a 30-watt charger here. And since this told me that it's only going to be 5 volts at 1.5 amps for the input... I don't expect it to be that much. And there we go. We're doing 13 watts. Okay. 
Not too shabby. Now our little light is flashing and we're charging. So we are charging the phone. See that? A little charging there. And we're charging the battery. So we unplug this. The light turns off. Phone stops charging. Press the button to turn it on. Now our phone's charging. And the lights are not flashing. So we'll plug that back in. Light is flashing and our phone's charging. So we're charging the battery in here and the battery in our phone. And we're doing it at, no, that's actually quite impressive. That's not bad at all. Is that really five volt? That can be five volts at 1.5 amps. I don't know. Anyways, we've got this IATI little wireless charger here. So we're gonna throw this on there and we're gonna put our phone on here. That's massive. Hey, first try. That's awesome. Yeah, about seven, seven watts there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's super convenient. It may not be the fastest way to charge your phone. And in fact, if you've seen my Instagram post, this charger right here, this 30 watt one or this uh, 45 watt one, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is this little guy right here is 20 watts. And my phone will charge at 28 watts when it's at its lowest charge and it's going to full. And let me tell you how fast that is. That means I can throw my phone on there and leave in like 30, 45 minutes and my battery is damn near full. Oh, I love fast charging. So wireless charging is not that, but it's super convenient, especially if, you have, if you're at work for, you know, eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours or whatever you are going to have plenty of time to charge at seven watts. And if you need your phone, you can just grab it and go. There's no cables to worry about. So that is super convenient. We didn't get it the first try that time. So there we go. I got it. The little light right there that solid lets me know that it's working. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I know my channel has been mostly Android for a long time. I still have and love my Pixel 5 very much. So as someone who has always carried around two phones, I've realized that having maybe two Android phones in my pocket was kind of dumb, not really like useful. But then like my DJI drone here, for example, they release a brand new feature for version 1.22 in the app where you have cruise control. And I also posted that on my Instagram where I was testing that out. You cannot do that on Android right now. So by having an iPhone, I get to play with apps that are iPhone exclusive or features are on here that aren't available on here yet, or vice versa, they're available on here, but not there, and just change my phone out. So I will make videos about both. <laughs> All you gotta do is look at the title, and if it says iPhone and you don't like iPhone, don't watch it. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.